Hello, I'm Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. Thank you for joining us today. My message this time is the Peace Treaty, the Deal of the Century. Please share and like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to give credit where credit is due, so I would like to mention Steve Fletcher with A Trumpet for My People and Brother Chad with Watchman on the Wall. Again, my title is The Peace Treaty, The Deal of the Century. Donald Trump has called the peace treaty, which is soon to be presented to Israel and the Palestinians, he has called it the deal of the century. Jared Kushner and President Trump have worked hard on this. Now that the Israeli elections are over, Prime Minister Netanyahu will be the one to represent Israel. The Times of Israel has reported that it will be presented in early June, putting it after the nation of Israel completes its 70th year as a nation in May. Keep in mind that Jesus said in Matthew 24, This generation shall not pass away until these things be fulfilled and a generation is considered to be 70 years. This is extremely interesting as the prophet Daniel spoke of 70 weeks of years at the time of the end, with the 70th being the time of tribulation. This attempt at peace may bring about the dividing of Jerusalem and the establishment of a Palestinian state with part of Jerusalem as its capital. The Temple Mount, the Western Wall, and the Mount of Olives would remain under Israeli sovereignty. This would fulfill Zechariah 12, 3, with Jerusalem literally becoming a burdensome stone. Genesis chapter 15 describes God's covenant with Abraham, giving him the land of Israel. And Jeremiah chapter 34 verses 17 through 21 describes the consequences of breaking it. Breaking this covenant by dividing the land brings very serious consequences. This is a clear warning for us to get ready for these end time prophecies to be fulfilled as well as the soon coming rapture of the church. First Thessalonians 5, 3 says this, While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. We are on the verge of seeing Isaiah chapter 17 fulfilled with the destruction of Damascus. Let me repeat 1 Thessalonians 5, 3 again. 
while people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape. This peace treaty may be rejected. So what if it is? If so, it will push us more towards the war described in Ezekiel 38. Syria, Iran, Turkey, Sudan, and Libya are aligned right now and may soon invade Israel from its northern border. President Trump has just approved Israel's annexing the Golan Heights. When this invasion occurs, the man of sin known as the Antichrist steps in to confirm the covenant which Daniel prophesied. He will not necessarily author the final peace treaty, but he will most definitely agree to it. At this point, the church will be out of here and we will have been raptured. Time is short. Jesus is coming, glory to God. Better get ready. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for your awesome plan. I thank you, Lord, for coming, for taking on my sin, and for dying in my place. I thank you, Jesus, you are coming again. I put my faith, my hope, and my trust in you now. Come quickly, Lord Jesus, and help me to be prepared to be ready when you come. It is in your name I pray. Amen.